If you start smelling rotten eggs or natural gas coming from under your hood, it's more than likely hydrogen sulfide that comes from a failing battery that is struggling to charge. Hydrogen sulfide is a highly toxic and flammable gas that you do not want to breathe in. You want to keep any lighters or traditional flashlights or even the light from your cell phone away from this battery. You want to keep it away from any ignition sources. They can explode. When working with any battery, whether new or used, you should take precautions and use PPE to protect your eyes and skin. This is not a good reason to freak out if you're not confident enough to switch out your battery. Take it to a shop or find your mechanic friend and have them help you switch it out. There are four T30 Torx, I believe they are, holding this corner panel on. For the two days prior to this video, the truck had some difficulty starting. I had to jump start it with my Mercury. I kept smelling rotten eggs and I wasn't quite sure what it was because I did have COVID at the time and my smelling and taste was off, but I thought I kept smelling rotten eggs. I wasn't 100% sure. I did go to the dealership and bought three new batteries. It was my plan to replace them. And when I went to replace them, I heard that hissing sound and this battery right here on the end was actually really warm to the touch. If you listen really closely, you can hear the battery hissing. I kept smelling rotten farts. I thought it's because, oh, stay away, I got COVID. I kept yeah. smelling rotten farts. Maybe I should let her cool. I'm going to disconnect it. The battery is hot and it's hissing. Is that good? <laughs> well, I'm just afraid to undo the fucking thing. You should probably wear a full face shield, a plastic apron, and some type of a corrosive resistant glove when you're working with batteries, especially one that's hissing. You can see here I just took the shading window out of this welding helmet and left the external layer on there just so I had something to protect my eyes. If a car battery explodes, it can blind you or kill you. You don't want to mess with this. As you can see here, it looks like there's a lot of wires. It looks like you could get them easily mixed up. But the only, um, the only nuts you need to remove are these ones right here connected to the battery. You don't have to remove these here. There's three of these on each side. There's three for the negative and three on the positive. For this truck, some trucks might only have two batteries, but you only need to remove these main nuts on the battery and then you have to find a way of lifting everything up, up off of the battery. Lead acid batteries that you find in cars and trucks are filled with sulfuric acid. When one of the battery cells starts dying, it can overheat and it can cause that sulfuric acid to boil out the top. And that's what that hissing sound was. And that's why I was smelling rotten eggs. You can see here, I used a pry bar to lift everything up off the batteries at once. Obviously you're not gonna be doing any prying on these batteries, but it is a really handy tool to keep your hands and arms free of the battery acid. You can see here, I just used one tarp strap up under the chassis on some bolt I found and I hooked it to the striker for the door just to hold up that whole wire mess. It seemed to work pretty good. If you're smelling rotten eggs and hearing a hissing sound coming from your car battery, you do not want to ignore it and you don't want to mess with it. Typically on a car, your car just wouldn't start and then you would replace the battery. But if you're charging your battery externally with a charger, or if you have a truck like this where there's three batteries and the truck will keep running, that's when you're going to have the overheating and the boiling out issues. Uh, battery, I, well, I kept smelling rotten eggs and I thought it was just my nose. Remember I told